we're reviewing decimals today. So we know that a decimal is a number that uses place value in a decimal point to show part of a whole. If I were to ask you to write a decimal that has um, 8 in the tenths place, you know you're going to be using this chart. And first, the first thing you need to do is you need to put a, an 8 in the tenths place. And then after that, you can just do whatever you want. You could add a 5 right here. So right now we know that the 8 is in the tenths place, and therefore we have a decimal with an 8 in the tenths place. If I were to ask you to write a decimal with a 3 in the hundredths place, I'm going to place the 3 first in my hundredths place, and then I can just put any other number over here, so I could choose to put a 4. So even though it says 0.43, I know that the 3 is in the hundredths place. If I were to ask you to write a decimal where you have a 4, a 4 in the hundredths place, and a 2 in the tenths place, then you would end up with that decimal right there. So it's important that we um, listen to what we're trying to say. And again, when we do fractions, for example, if you're trying to do um, 8 hundredths, and put it into a decimal form, I need to say it, and it says 8 hundredths. So I know that this 8 right here, this 8 right over here, says 8 hundredths, right? So by saying hundredths, I know that I need to put it in the hundredths place. So I'm going to put my 8 in the hundredths place, and since there's this space in between the decimal point right here, and here, I need to fill the empty space, this empty space right here, I need to fill it with a zero. So 8 hundredths equals point zero 0.08, or another way is zero, because I have nothing over here in the ones place. I don't have anything here in the ones place, so I can just put a zero right here. Point zero, the zero, eight. 